My name is Brittany Rosendahl. I'm a senior here at Bryan. I'm 18 years old and I come from a family with my parents and my brother and my beloved dog. <laughs> in my free time, I'm really involved in my community. I do a lot of community service and giving back to the community. I'm also really involved here at Bryan in clubs like NHS and different things, as well as a lot of arts, including a lot of different bands and jazz band, pep band, concert band, symphonic band, as well as theater, such as the fall, fall play and spring musical. I'm also involved in athletics. I've done a lot of different sports over my four years here at Bryan. And right now, I'm really excited for track season to be starting, so go Bears! What really keeps my passion going for band is not only my love for music and making music, but my love for the people that are involved in band with me as well. I am really close to everyone in there, especially Mr. Will, the band director. He's like a second dad to me, and I love him with all of my heart. I also love my fellow drumline members so much, and from people that were seniors when I was freshmen to people who are freshmen now that I'm a senior, I love them all, and we've all gotten so close. We're like one big happy family. We've made a lot of memories together over the years, everything from bus rides to games and pet bands to everything in between band camp. It's been so much fun. Not to mention just my love and passion for music. I've been playing the drums since I was in fifth grade and even before that I played guitar and I played piano. I've played a lot of different instruments and I just love band and music with all of my heart and it really keeps me going. Like I said, I've been involved in a ton of different sports during my four years here at BHS. And even before high school, I've always been really involved in sports and athletics. I've pretty much done every sport you could ever imagine, from softball to cheerleading to gymnastics to swim to dive to skateboarding to archery. But here, just while I've been in high school, I've done tennis, cheerleading, dive, and track which have all been a ton of fun. But I think my favorite part of all of those, the same as band, is just the people that have been involved in it. I've met so many great people that I wouldn't have been able to meet otherwise, especially a lot of the underclassmen as I've gotten older, and vice versa when I was younger, some of the upperclassmen, I wouldn't have been able to meet had I not done these sports. And they've really just been so much fun, and I've been able to stay involved and have a lot of school spirit and be able to cheer on not only cheer for myself, but cheer on my fellow teammates and just really have a blast with it. I have been applying to colleges here lately, as all seniors have, and I did get a couple of interviews with some Ivy League colleges, one of them being Harvard, and it was honestly a really intense interview. It was a really exciting feeling though, just even finding out that I had an interview. It was with a Harvard alumni in Toledo. And right off the bat, I was super intimidated because I Googled him and found out that he was an orthopedic surgeon in Toledo, which was terrifying because I knew he had been through a lot and accomplished a lot in his lifetime and I had a lot to live up to just even meeting him. But it ended up being a lot of fun. Once he ended up showing up and being there, it was really relaxed, he was super nice, and it was really easy to talk about myself because I knew that he was just there to help me and write a good review about me. But really the most intense part of it was undoubtedly waiting for him. It's, there was a lot leading up to it, but then once I was in Toledo, even though I had the support of my mom and my best friend Alicia there with me, it was really scary once they left Panera and I had to sit there by myself and wait for him. Plus, he called me and told me that he was stuck in traffic about three miles away, so he was going to be even later. So I had to sit there for about half an hour by myself, and I was so scared, not only just being in Toledo by myself, but also the anxiety of knowing what was coming and not knowing what to expect or who I was looking for or anything. It was all super intense and a little bit scary and t intimidating, but in the end, like I said, it was a lot of fun. I got to meet a really nice guy 
and he really did write me an outstanding review. In 2016, I was Miss Brian, and doing pageant was never something that I saw myself doing before. When I was about eight, I signed up for it once, but they didn't have enough girls in Brian, and the director's from Montpelier, so they moved all the meetings to Montpelier, and I lost interest very quickly and didn't end up doing it. And it wasn't really my style anyway. I was always more of a softball girl, kind of a tomboy. And I wasn't sure, I was a little hesitant anyway, so I just didn't do it and totally forgot about it until I was 16. And one of the former Miss Bryans of 2015, I believe, Ashton Johnson came up to me one day and she said, hey, we're really looking for girls in your age division. How'd you feel about trying a pageant? And I wasn't really up on it. It wasn't something that I wanted to do. I wasn't interested. But then again, I thought about it and I thought, well, that's one thing that I have never done. I've done everything with sports and arts and everything else. So sure, we'll give it a try. And I actually totally fell in love with it and I learned awesome interview skills and really just had a lot of fun with it. And especially with the talent portion, I got to show off my archery skills and I got to wear, wear a gorgeous dress and meet so many great people of all ages because the pageant runs from, I think, first grade up through 12th grade. So all of the little girls were absolutely adorable. And then when I became Miss Bryan, I got three sister queens of my own and they were ages, I think, 9, 11, and 13 at the time. And at first it was super weird because I got thrown into things with these three girls that I had never met before. And all of a sudden I was supposed to be best friends with them and do everything with them. And it really just forced me to immerse myself in everything that we did and just dive in head first. I had so much fun getting to know the girls. We had a ton of fun together and it allowed me to put in over 120 community service hours between June 2016 and June 2017. So it was an amazing experience and I definitely recommend it for anyone that's considering it.